Well, so I have pan around finished besides basically filling that area in. I've foamed it, uh, the gap in between the wood there, but I haven't figured out how I'm going to cram the foam board in there, but the ceiling is done, the walls, the side. The only thing missing is the floor, which I'm going to do later. So I have finished the insulation and pretty proud of myself. So if you're thinking about doing something crazy like this, it's so good. It's such a walk of faith because I don't know what comes next. I don't know what kind of wall I'm going to put up. I'm thinking several things and hearing, you know, advice from other people and watching YouTube videos, but I really don't know where I'm going from here. And that's a good thing um, to have to stretch my faith and go, okay, God, I don't know how to do this. Send somebody my way or give me the wisdom. Um, I'm excited about this, but to say that I don't daily have a feeling of dread and regret and going, oh gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Um, but that scripture, I'm trying to think where it's located, but it says, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of love, a sound mind, self-control. And um, it takes self-control, it's a discipline to stamp down and resist the fear that wells up in us. Um, but if your trust is in Jesus Christ and you know there's a plan out there and that everything will be used, there's God is the most unwasteful person. He's going to use everything, even our mistakes. He is not wasteful. So I can rest in that and not fear. Whatever the outcome of that my little house is, I'm not going to live in a spirit of fear, but of self-control and a sound mind. And so, anyway, hope your day's going good. Mine's going really good. Talk to you later.